Good morning, folks. Happy Thursday. Um, today is our last day of school before we go on to spring break. So spring break officially starts tomorrow on Friday. And um, I understand that because it is break time, some of you guys might not want to do a Zoom meeting, and that's totally fine. This week's Zoom meeting or Friday Zoom meeting is optional. However, um, to make things a little bit more fun, I thought I would do like a fun direct to draw with the kids tomorrow. So if you're looking for something to do or that seems interesting to you or your student, make sure that you tune in tomorrow. We're going to have one, same time as last week, we're going to have one at 8 a.m. and we're going to have another one at 6 p.m. So please see if you can make it to at least one of those. And if not, it's optional this week, so that's okay. Um, today's going to be a pretty short lesson. We're actually finished with chapter seven. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just quickly review chapter seven. And then we're going to jump into, not chapter eight, we're gonna skip chapter eight, but we're gonna jump into chapter nine today. All right, here we go. If I open up my IJ and I look for my notes on chapter seven, here we go. Right at the top on March 31st, you should have a whole page of notes. Okay. Let's see if I can't turn the brightness down a little bit on this. That should help at least a little bit. So this chapter we learned that compare means to look at two different numbers and see which is greater and which is less. Greater or something that is greater than means that the first number is bigger than the second number. If we see less than or this symbol, that means that the first number is smaller than the second number. And this equal sign means that the two numbers are equal, right? Like 28 equals 28, 41 equals 41, and so on. So we learned that on March 31st. And then earlier this week, we talked about how to find 10 more and 10 less. So by looking at the tens and the ones and changing the tens place to either one larger or one smaller, we could figure out what 10 more and 10 less is. So it says to find out how much is 10 more, change the tens place plus one. So in this case, we changed our eight to a nine. And to find out how much is 10 less, change the tens place minus one, 82 to 72. Okay, so that's what we learned about in chapter seven. I don't have an official test for that, but I will be checking that you finished the workbook pages we did together and the workbook pages that I've assigned to you. So if you've been watching the videos, but you haven't been doing the pages I've assigned to you at the end of the video, make sure you go back, figure out what those pages are and finish those pages. Those are part of your homework and I will be grading those when we turn everything in. Now for today, I still have my IJ out. Let me find a good position for him. I still have my IJ out. Today we're going to write the date which is 4-9-2020. Okay, and today we are starting notes on math. 9.1. Okay, and chapter 9 is all about measurement, so how long things are. So we are going to start by talking about some vocabulary. So first of all, we're going to need to know what the word length means, because we're going to talk about length a lot. That's L-E-N-G-T-H, length. Now, the length of something is how much space in between the start and end of an object. 
Length is how much space is in between the start and end of an object. So for example, if I were to draw a fish, okay, here's my little fish. The length of my fish would be the amount of space between the start of my object, which is right here, and the end of my object, which is right here. So this space right here would be the length of my object or my fish. The space from the start to the end of whatever object you're working with. And we'll work with a few different objects, okay? So when something is ooh, longer than something else, that means its length is greater than the other length. So if I'm comparing two objects and I have a fish that's this long and a fish that's this long, this one's space in between its start and end is longer, so its length is greater. If your length is greater, that means you're longer than the other object. And the same thing is true for being shorter. I think we'll start that on the next page. Let's make this visible for everybody so that you can pause and copy that down. I know that's a lot of writing. I'll work on making that easier to see. There we go. Pause the video if you need to, copy this down, make sure your page looks just like mine. We're gonna come back and look at these notes, so make sure that they look nice. And on the next page, I will start shorter then. If you run out of space, just go on to the next page, no big deal. So once again, length is how much space is in between the start and the end of an object. When something is longer than something else, that means that its length is greater than the other length. And of course, that means if something is shorter, its length is less than whatever you're comparing it to. Less than the other object's length. So of course, if we're looking at a bunch of different items, like let's say that I'm looking at let me see which one I want to do here. <laughs> Let's say I'm looking at three different items. We'll start with two. Okay. The length of this pencil is greater than the length of this Expo marker. The space between its start and end is longer. So therefore, this pen is longer than this Expo marker. This would be longer, this would be shorter. Now when we are comparing, it might be easier for you to see under here actually. If we are comparing three objects or more, then we can start using terms like longest and shortest. So if you have an object that is longer than all your other objects like this black pen is larger, or excuse me, longer than the other two objects, then this black pen is gonna be the longest thing I have. The shortest thing I have is shorter than everything else. This is the shortest thing I have. Longest and shortest. We are going to work on 
putting things in order from longest to shortest a lot throughout this um, chapter. Once you have that written down, go ahead and get out page 159 from your Go Math book. So if you take out this Go Math book, you're going to find P159. And it's going to look just like this. Oops all over the place this morning. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Go grab that. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. It should say lesson 9.1 and again it's on page 159. So at the very top our directions say draw three pencils from shortest to longest. So I'm gonna draw my shortest pencil up here, my middle pencil right here, and my longest pencil right here. So if my first pencil is gonna be the shortest, I'm probably gonna to wanna to make it pretty short. So I'm just gonna draw it like maybe that long. There's my little pencil. I'm not going to want to draw my shortest pencil super long because i got to make the other ones even longer. So I always find it easiest to draw the shortest and the longest first and then come back to the middle. So here's my shortest. Now I'm going to make my longest. I'm going to make my longest. Should I make that one pretty short or pretty long? Probably going to make that one pretty long because it's the longest pencil I'm supposed to have. I'm going to make that one go almost all the way to the end. I'm not the best pencil drawer, but that's okay. Don't need to be. Oh my gosh, it's so long you can't even see it. There we go. So this is my shortest pencil, this is my longest pencil. Now I need to draw a pencil that's in the middle. So I'm going to make mine about this long. It's not as long as the longest one, it's not as short as the shortest one, it's just in the middle. So now I have these pencils in order from shortest to longest. Short, a little bit longer, longest. This one is shorter than all the other pencils, so it's the shortest. This one is longer than all the other pencils, so it's the longest. Okay, now we're going to do it backwards. It says draw three markers in order from longest to shortest. So now my longest is going to come first. Okay. So if my longest is going to come first, I'm going to want to make that marker pretty darn long. Let me see how I can draw a marker. We're going to do our best here. There's my little expo marker. Okay, there's my long expo marker. Okay, now I gotta make my super short one my shortest one. You guys don't have to write expo in it, I'm just having fun. So there's my super short marker, there's my super long marker, now I need my middle one. So now these three are in order from longest to shortest. This expo marker is longer than all the other ones, so it's my longest. This expo marker is shorter than all the other ones, so it's my shortest. Its length is the smallest. This one's length is the greatest. Hopefully that makes sense. So you'll notice 
a couple of things. One, when it's asking you what order to put it in, either shortest to longest or longest to shortest, you have to pay attention to that because these look very different. This one, the tiny, tiny one goes first. This one, the super long one goes first. So pay attention to whether it's asking you to do it from shortest to longest or longest to shortest that matters because your answers will be different. Another thing I want you to notice, all of these little lines that were there at the beginning before we started, the reason why they did that is to make sure that every single one of our pencils and our markers started at the same place. And I'll show you why that's so important. First of all, pause this, copy it if you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and take it away. So let's say that I want to put these in order from longest to shortest, okay? And I do it like this. Well, you might be able to just look at those and see which one is shortest and which one is longest. But it makes it a lot easier to compare lengths if we start at the exact same point. So I am going to have this line up with this line right here. Line up with the line. Line up with the line. See how they're all lined up to this one white line here? I can probably move this one a little bit. So if they all start at the exact same point, it's easier for us to tell which one's longest and which one's shortest. If I have this guy over here and this guy over here and this guy over here, and they're not all starting from the same point, it's more difficult to tell, it's harder to tell which one's longer and which one's shorter. So when we looked at this paper, they gave us lines to start on that were all at the exact same point so that it was easier for us to see which one's longer and which one's shorter. Okay, we're gonna go back to page 159. We have one more problem at the bottom. Here we go. It says Fred has the shortest toothbrush in the bathroom. Circle Fred's toothbrush. Okay, well that's easy. We know Fred has the shortest one. So we're gonna look for the shortest and we're gonna circle that one. So let's say that this is toothbrush A, this is toothbrush B, and this is toothbrush C. Which one of those is the smallest? A, B, or C? I'm sorry, not the smallest, the shortest. Which one of those is the shortest? Well, the good news is they're all starting from the same point, so it's easy for us to see. Which one is the shortest, meaning shorter than all the others? Hopefully you picked C. I'm gonna circle C. There we go. All right, you guys, your homework is just gonna be on the back. It's gonna be page 160, looks like this. If you haven't finished your Moby Max, most of you have, but if you haven't finished your Moby Max, please make sure that you do. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow at either 8 a.m. or 6 p.m. Bye, guys.